The four de Terriers lined up with Sabarius in goal. The defence consisted of Murray who moved back from midfield, Baines and Nathan and Gabrino. On loan start for Freedom FC player Willoughby Johnston made his debut for the Board of Terriers in midfield along with Hoffman, Lindsay, Rogan and Junior. And up front, once again, it was Nathaniel Hector. And as for the travelling academicals, they had New Year in goal. They had O'Toller and Hamas Brandt, Clune and Sabayat in their defence. They seemed to adapt a defensive style of play with Clark, Barclay and Lane in the midfield. And up front was Niall, Hamas Brown and Brown. The game was delayed for 15 minutes due to torrential rain, when the match did start though the Yankees pressed really well. However it was Junior and Johnston who had the first shots on goal, but it was Nathaniel Hector who scored the first goal, it was a brilliant pass from Rogan who managed to get through the academical defence. So it ended up a half time 1-0 to the border terriers, Nathaniel Hector thought he scored again, but the referee said it didn't cross the line. The home team soon made it 2-0 into the second half, it was an own goal by O'Tolleran from a throw-in. There was a throw-in and O'Tolleran tried to clear it but ended up slicing it into his own net. Hector Johnston and Rogan also missed chances before this as well. Then debutant Johnston scored from close range and he celebrated like he was on a bicycle. Murray missed a target but Nathaniel Hector made no mistake in making it 4-0, he just decided to shoot. And before you could say hat trick, Nathaniel Hector soon decided to shoot again and scored with a 5 0 to the D's. And Willoughby Johnston made it 6 0 his second of the afternoon. The shot was spilled by the goalkeeper, but Johnston picked up and shot. That was after Nathaniel Hector missed a penalty. He did try the Rabona, didn't quite come off for him though. Back in training today after a comfortable victory in the end against the Yankees. Yes, it was a comfortable victory in the end. Uh, the one six nil scoreline did flatter us, but um, we worked out their their game plan, um, pressing and they were going to, uh, they're going to park the bus and play more defensively. But um, Nathaniel Hector getting a hat trick as well just uh, proves uh, the twelve goals he scored since uh, he joined us is is proved how uh, important a player he is uh, to the board of Terriers and. Um, yeah, it was a good occasion at Puppy Park. Uh, the torrential rain threatened to spoil the occasion, but the, the fans still were singing, singing in the numbers as they always do, and uh, the tunes were busted and out at the start. It was just an amazing, amazing occasion for the for the game, and we did, did we were putting a decent enough performance to get three points. Now, at this stage in the season, what are you uh, assessing and aspiring to do? Well, that's a, an interesting question. We've been obviously putting in the, the performances, and there's there is still there is still work to be done, uh, even if you're 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 playing really well. And we've just got to we can't question the players' commitment because the players have played um really well. Um, not one of the players has asked stupid questions like uh, like water balls or uh, or sitting in the backside, and um not one of the players has left it to the rest of the camp, uh, to do stuff for them. They've they've worked for it. And I think that if we just look uh, to the next game, that's all we can do, look to the next game, the next fixture, get on with that, try and get three points, and then it's the game after that, and, and so on. This Sunday, you're back on the road again to take on Eastside Strollers. Another goal fest? Uh, well, we'd like it to be another goal fest. It's not uh, Christmas every week, uh, unfortunately, for uh, the Board of Terriers Football Club. But um, if I think if we just carry on, we've been asking these questions for a few weeks now. Uh, obviously, there is a time that our form, form will, uh, and our luck will run out at times, but players have just got to live for these days and, and hopefully we can just uh, carry on. And if we do suffer a dip, then hopefully we can get back to back to winning ways as, um, um, as, as soon as possible. But just now, we're just, we're just living the dream. And is there a full squad available? Uh, there's not a full squad. Gregor Fisher is out due to work commitments and myself. Um, I'm still you know, going to injury, which um, probably in a few weeks, but we've got enough players. Uh, it's not like we're we're lacking or anything. We've got we've got the players that we can, and 
I think um, we're just looking forward to this game and hopefully uh, this time next week we'll uh, be uh, three points up the, the table. Okay, thank you now. Thank you very much.